Can Maltese dogs have hip problems? Hip problems are a common concern among dog owners, especially those with small, toy breeds like the Maltese. These adorable and gentle dogs are known for their beautiful white coats and lively personalities. However, just like any other breed, Maltese dogs can also be susceptible to hip problems. In this article, we will explore the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for hip problems in Maltese dogs. Firstly, it's important to understand the anatomy of a dog's hip joint. The hip joint consists of a ball, head of the femur bone, and a socket, acetabulum in the pelvis. The hip joint allows for smooth and pain-free movement. However, in some cases, the ball and socket may not fit together perfectly, leading to various hip problems. One common hip problem that Maltese dogs can experience is hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition where the hip joint doesn't develop properly. It can result in loose and unstable hip joints, leading to pain and discomfort. While hip dysplasia is more commonly associated with larger breeds, it can still affect smaller breeds like the Maltese. Another potential hip problem in Maltese dogs is leg calf pertus disease. This condition affects the blood supply to the femoral head, leading to the death of the bone tissue. As a result, the femoral head collapses, causing pain and lameness in the affected leg. Although leg calf pertus disease usually occurs in smaller dog breeds, Maltese dogs can also be at risk. So, how can you tell if your Maltese dog is suffering from a hip problem? Some common symptoms include difficulty getting up, limping, reluctance to move or exercise, bunny hopping, using both hind legs at the same time, and decreased range of motion in the hips. However, it's important to note that these symptoms can also be attributed to other health issues, so it's crucial to consult a veterinarian for a proper diagnosis. If you suspect that your Maltese dog has a hip problem, the first step is to visit a veterinarian. The veterinarian will perform a thorough physical examination and may also request x-rays to evaluate the condition of the hip joints. These diagnostic tests will help determine the extent of the problem and guide the treatment options. Treatment for hip problems in Maltese dogs can vary depending on the severity of the condition. In mild cases, medications such as pain relievers and anti-inflammatory drugs may be prescribed to manage the pain and inflammation. Weight management is also crucial to reduce stress on the hip joints, so the veterinarian may recommend a specific diet and exercise plan. In more severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary. The type of surgery will depend on the specific hip problem present in your Maltese dog. Some surgical options include femoral head ostectomy, removal of the femoral head, or total hip replacement. These surgeries aim to improve the dog's quality of life by reducing pain and increasing mobility. Prevention is always better than cure, and there are steps you can take as a Maltese dog owner to minimize the risk of hip problems. Firstly, it's essential to choose a reputable breeder who conducts health screenings for hip dysplasia and other genetic conditions. Regular exercise is also important to keep your Maltese dog's muscles strong and joints healthy. However, be mindful not to overexert your dog, as excessive exercise can also put stress on the joints. In conclusion, while Maltese dogs are generally healthy and strong, they can still be prone to hip problems such as hip dysplasia and leg calf pertus disease. It's crucial for dog owners to be aware of the symptoms and seek veterinary care if they suspect any issues. With proper diagnosis, treatment, and preventive measures, Maltese dogs with hip problems can still lead happy and active lives.